What's going on guys? Today we're talking about the four keys to proper escalation. Now, maybe you've been on a date with a girl and you know it needs to go a direction that you want it to go, that it should go, that you can feel the vibe is heading, but you don't know how to get it there. I've been there. I know what that's like. It's very frustrating to even get the date, to get that far, and then to get on the date and to realize that you don't know what you're doing when you're on the date. So I want to teach you guys today the four keys to making that work in your favor. How to get laid, how to get intimate, how to get closer, how to make the move, how to get a kiss. All that stuff comes from good escalation. And so I want to give you the keys that make a girl open to those things because you're probably shooting yourself in the foot or you're probably going into your head, which is pushing you further away from it. And it's a lot easier than it actually seems. The only thing is that you got to relax your nervous system in the process, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So, why would a guy have problems escalating? Well, there's a number of reasons, right? Some guys might be like, well, you got her on a date, so she obviously is interested in you. Yes, that's true. But the reason that you guys are on a date is not because she is ready to go that direction with you, but because she wants to see if there's anything there. There's plenty of times I've been on a date with girls, and it was great in the initial interaction, but on the date itself, there was no chemistry there because I wasn't bringing any chemistry. I wasn't bringing any sexual energy. I wasn't bringing any directness. I wasn't touching. I wasn't I wasn't being verbally direct. And so I can understand why a girl would, on a date like that would not be interested and not want to see me again back then, even though I took it personal. So I don't want you guys to fall into that, uh, that trap of that. It's much better to go for it, risk it, than to end up in a friend zone wondering what would have happened had you gone for it, and I wanna teach you the four steps, again, that will help you guys create attraction, create a connection, make a girl want to see you again, make a girl want to take you home, make a girl want you to take her home, right? Or make her open to that. So before we jump into that, there's a bonus piece in this video at the end, I wanna teach you guys also how to deal with pushback. Because truthfully, you might get some pushback doing the stuff that I'm gonna teach you guys. And how you respond to the pushback is more important than that thing that you actually said or did in order to create the attraction in the first place, right? If you get reactive to it, red flags. If you handle it well, more attraction. So we'll talk about that at the end of the video, so stay tuned, okay? Now, guys, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting like and subscribe. I'm branching off from the main Fearless channel, which has still got a bunch of great content in helping you guys become masculine, more solid, more free, teaches you so much, right? So hop on that channel, Go through all the videos that we have on there and start leveling up. This channel is my personal channel that I'm using to expand and really teach you guys a lot of what I've learned from Brian over the years that I haven't talked about on the other channel as well as approaching stuff as well. So if you guys want to follow the journey, come along. It's going to be lots to teach you guys. There's a ton in store, so stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start with the first of the four keys to proper escalation. And that is touching sounds straightforward sounds simple right but you will be very surprised at how many guys don't touch a girl from the moment they approach her to the end of the date let's say we're speaking about insta date right you get a you meet a girl right there on the spot she's into you you guys are vibing you guys go get coffee go get something to eat hang out for a couple hours i see this all the time with the clients we take them out they get insta dates but when they're on the date they are not closing the gap they're not touching and i'm like all the things that you need in order to create attraction you're not doing yes it's great that you got the date but there's more work to be done while you're on the date so touching how do you successfully pull off touching so that it doesn't come off creepy or it doesn't come off like you're in your head but that's easy when you let's say you're doing an approach from scratch and you're just meeting this girl for the first time introduce yourself reach out shake her hand right touch the more you can touch on a date, the better, but not when you're in your head. The more you can touch in a very relaxed way that feels good and warm to her, the better. So if you're in your head worried about touch, chances are it's gonna come off creepy. So what you've gotta do is you've gotta to learn to normalize touching on a date. Now, when I approach a girl, I always introduce myself and I always reach out to shake her hand. When I'm on a date with a girl, I'm always at some point putting my arm around her, right? Touching her on her arm. Just little hints, little, little small touches here and there. And then eventually I'm grabbing her hand or we're sitting at a restaurant or at a coffee shop and I'm sitting right next to her. I want her to get comfortable with my touch 
the more comfortable she is with my touch, the more she'll lean into it. The more she leans into it, it gives me the indication that, that okay, cool, she's liking this, she's enjoying this. This is moving us closer to being a little more intimate. Okay, guys? So get closer to touching. Now, the second thing that's very important when you are on a date with a girl, you just met a girl, whatever the case, is the sexual buildup. That's super important, and it has to happen throughout the date. I also see this. When guys are approaching girls, they are not comfortable with eye contact. They get very squirmy. They get very fidgety. They move around. They're not grounding themselves out. And that comes across in your interactions. If you want to build up sexual tension in an interaction with a girl or on a date with a girl, eye contact is essential. From the minute that you approach her or from the minute that you meet her up on the date, eye contact, direct eye contact. Now, I don't mean be creepy and be like all up in her face and, you know, really, really overdoing it but relax eye contact where you're taking her beauty in. She can see you witnessing her, right? Remember what Sam Perion says, beauty needs a witness. You gotta let her know that you're enjoying her through the eyes. And you don't do that by pushing, you do that by relaxing and receiving, right? So if you're enjoying the makeup that she's got on her face, the outfit that she wore, or just to her, the way she did her hair, show that through your eye contact. Show her that you enjoy her, show her that, that, that there's joy going through your body because that joy in turn will come across to her as really good energy, right? So you notice as the more you start to get relaxed with your eye contact, and let's say you're talking to her and you get a little turned on, right? Because you're starting to really enjoy her beauty, that turn on is also going to come across in your interaction. She's gonna feel you getting turned on for her. And what do you think is gonna happen? Well, she's gonna get turned on, right? Because she can feel that energy, it reciprocates. And if you keep that going throughout the date and all that you do, it doesn't matter what you're talking about, she's gonna feel that energy. She's gonna warm up to you so fast. You don't even know <laughs> what's gonna come after that. Now, the third thing that's really important when you're on a date with a girl, you're approaching a girl and you're wanting to escalate because it needs to go somewhere, is being direct. A lot of guys are very scared to be direct, right? They don't want to offend the girl. They don't want to make the girl run away. So they end up being too passive, which again, gets them absolutely nothing. So it doesn't really work in your favor to be passive. It actually works better for you to be direct. What does that look like? What do I mean by be direct? If she shows up on a date and she's in this really sexy outfit or she's in a beautiful dress, tight jeans, she's looking sexy comment on it let her know that you acknowledge it see it show it right you hear this a lot with these dating gurus they'll tell you guys don't give girls compliments because they'll take it and then they'll walk all over you couldn't be further from the truth it's really how you're doing it now if you're relaxed and you're receiving and you're enjoying her beauty and she can feel that the compliment will come off a lot differently than it did if you were in your head and you were nervous don't be scared to pause in the middle of a date look her dead in the eye and tell her, Jesus Christ, you look fucking sexy in that outfit. Like, it's super sexy, right? Touch it. Touch the fabric of it. Don't be scared to do that. It's probably going to make her giggle. It's probably going to make her laugh because it creates a lot of tension. But again, you're the masculine. That's what you do. Your ability is to create tension, but also ground that tension out so it's not weird. You want her to feel the tension because tension spikes are very good in interactions or on dates. Because you want her to feel something. You don't want to flatline the whole date by just playing it safe the whole way through. There needs to be moments of tension that you smoothen out over time. Right? And that's real, one really good way to do it. Now, the fourth thing is this. And <laughs> a lot of guys, I think, saw this coming or should have because we're talking about escalation. Talking about sex. And I don't mean talking about sex from an analytical place. I mean being so comfortable with the topic of sex or just being comfortable with the fact that you're a sexual being who has sexual desires, who has sexual wants, and so is she. She's also a sexual being who has sexual needs, sexual desires, sexual wants, and you guys are adults. <laughs> you guys are not five-year-olds hiding from the fact that you guys like each other and sex is potentially an option, right? So you want to talk, be able to talk about it like you're able to talk about 
the glass of water sitting on the table between you guys. You guys are sitting across from each other. It should be that easy to talk about it. The more at ease you are at talking about sex, the less tense it's going to be for her to talk about it because she also in turn feels like you can have that conversation and you're not going to try to jump all over her. This is key in building turn on or building that, um, like I said earlier, building sexual tension, right? Being able to look at her and ask her, what does she like sexually? What is she into? If it warrants that, okay? It can totally be uncalibrated and come out of nowhere and come off really creepy. So be very mindful of what the vibe is like. Have you guys been on that date for a while and you guys are enjoying each other? Has she been laughing, clearly showing that she's enjoying herself? Have you reached out and touched, you know? Have you poked and joked a little bit to where you know she's enjoying you? Then there might be a good time to bring that up, All right? Especially if the date's starting to wind down, that's a great topic to kind of talk about. Be open, be open-minded. Don't judge her with what she tells you, right? The less judgmental you are about what she tells you, the more she's like, okay, this guy is experienced. I don't feel creepy around this guy. I feel like if I were to have sex with this guy, I wouldn't regret it, right? So you want her to feel those kind of things towards you because in escalation, that's where you want it to go. You want her to feel ultimately comfortable with you in that sense so that at the end of the day, you guys both win by getting what you want, okay? So I hope this uh, video helps you guys. And I do get this bonus piece that I want to teach you guys because this is also really key and it's very essential to good escalation. And it's almost the most important piece of it all. And that is how you bounce back from pushback because you will get pushback. How you respond to the pushback. Do you respond to the pushback reactively or do you respond to the pushback proactively? huge differences, right? So let's say if you were to bring up the topic of sex, asking her what she likes, what she's into, and she's like, no, no, I don't talk about sex on the first date. How do you respond to that? Do you get reactive? Do you pack it all away and go back into being a nice guy? Or do you relax, receive what she said, she's telling you, but be proactive with it in a way that you're like, okay, so there's something going on there. And I kind of want to dig into it a little bit with her. So I'm just getting curious about it. I'm not going to back away from the topic, but I want to talk to her about it. So I might be like, cool, tell me about that. What's going on with that? Is it, you know, why that rule? I'm just curious to know. It can make a girl feel really comfortable and safe when you're able to have that conversation with her and not get reactive, shut off, close off, or just turn into a completely different person. Because a lot of guys, when they when girls do that, they either go to extreme nice guy or they get offended and then they end up losing the girl because they're getting reactive regardless. Just relax. Again, you want to be able to talk about this stuff so calmly and relaxed that she feels confident that if she opens up to you, she's going to be safe in doing so. That in in turn in itself could probably lead to sex. And it's very likely that it will. And if not on the first date, then on the second date. Okay. So how you respond to pushback, it's everything. If you're reaching for touch, like you should be, because that's one of the keys here, <laughs> you should be. And if you reach out for touch and she grabs her hand, she pulls it away. How do you respond to that? Do you get reactive and be like, ah, this bitch, <laughs> right? She's not giving me anything. I'm done with the date. I don't want to do this anymore. Or do you relax, get calm about it, understand that that's just the way she plays, and that's cool. Maybe she doesn't want to be touched right then and there. Give her space. Don't get reactive. Stay on the date. Continue to focus on having fun. And then do it again later and see where she's at, right? That's what I'm talking about. How you respond to pushback, it's everything. It'll let her know how confident you are and how proactive you are as a man. And that also comes across as very attractive and very sexy. And it'll turn her on more because she knows she has a man and not a boy. So anyways, guys, I hope this video has helped you. I love the journey of going through all this stuff and learning these things along the way from Brian and Dave when I was really coming up uh, through the ranks at Fearless, having to go through all these experiences and realizing that a lot of what I thought in my head was true about um, being able to talk about sex on a date, touching girls and all this stuff wasn't true. They want to be touched. They love talking about sex. They just want to do it with a guy who's solid and comfortable. And that's what these videos are here to do for you. They're here to make you more confident, more solid, less reactive, more proactive.
and more just accepting of yourself overall. All right. So I want to recommend a video that you guys watch to help you guys get comfortable sexually so that when you're on these dates, you don't feel weirded out. You don't go into your head around the topic of sex, but instead you can talk about it from a proactive place. All right. So go and watch this video on the topic of getting comfortable with being sexual, talking about sex, exploring sex. Go watch Brian's video on the main fearless channel titled sexual transmutation, unlock your sexual energy. It's a really great video where he talks about the workshop that we do called sexual transportation that helps guys get rid of their sexual shame, any hangups or blocks they have around being sexual beings. But in that video, there's a lot of stories in there about clients who overcome fear of sexuality or talking about sex on dates. And you'll see how it transforms their, their lives. There's guys who've gone from being a virgin to having sex for the first time because they've gotten comfortable around the topic of sex. And that video will also help you guys if you guys are practicing escalation on dates. It's actually very essential in the escalation process because if you guys never talk about sex, it'll never happen. So anyways, guys, go watch the video. I'll see you guys in next week's video. And remember, only the confident really live.